There's a lot of different things that we see that can be picked up with a compass scan, and it's a real simple thing to use. Whether we've got normal epithelium or abnormal epithelium, we can look at. There's a post-op enhancement, and we're trying to figure out what the poor vision is and what the etiology is. And what she was was getting an, a keratitis um, that was related to an exposure to an item, which ended up being a drop, and so we think she had a, a, an allergy to BAK. And we couldn't really let her use it and get her red, but, but we kept getting poor vision every time she'd go on these over-the-counter drops, but we didn't really know why, and we could pick it up that it was causing a keratitis subclinically. And then this is what she looks like after we stop everything, wait a month or two, and she's healed. Again, epithelial dystrophies, You can look at epithelial ingrowth. We can look at what the cell types are. And we can look at normal stroma, activated keratocytes. I wrote a paper probably about a year ago on transient light sensitivity with the interlays. This is what we were using to try, because these people came in, they had good vision. You didn't see anything uh, on their examination, but they were severely light sensitive. And so we were able to pick up that they had active care, activated keratocytes and actually say to the patient, okay, this is what you got, we're going to put you on steroids and you'll get better. Uh, this is an interface keratitis. This is somebody that had a DLK postoperatively. You can look at the cell types, and I'm going to make that make sense. You got herpes you can look at, you can look at fungal elements. So basically it's an in vivo, real time. You can look at cysts. Uh, we had a patient that came in that we picked up an acanthamoeba on that had been using one of the tainted uh, uh, products. Keratoconus is a variety of things, and so we can look at keratoconus in evolution. So whether it's early, so we've got somebody that we're wondering if they got foreign proust disease, they're young. A lot of times if we have a parent who will have keratoconus, we'll look at the child and see if they have early uh, boat three is basically what you're looking at, uh, that may not be able to be picked up on topography. And why is that important is with cross-linking, you know, if I had a child that had early keratoconus, mom has keratoconus, it's, it's, it's there, I may really think about sending them over to my buddy Teo or my buddy John over in Athens and get them cross-linked to keep them preventing from progressing with the disease process. 